Hey, morning. It's Doug Smith, broker owner of DHS Realty. Friday morning. Uh, it's not overcast anymore, and I purposely didn't put my contacts in this morning so I can see only what's right in front of me. Uh, no sense in uh, looking into tomorrow, not really uh, knowing what tomorrow will hold. So I'm focused on the here and now, and I'm at Home Depot because we're about to do training at noon on how to get an open house. And I'm gonna start from scratch with the uh, people that are visiting, the agents that are in our office, that sometimes just need that little prod to know how to get an open house done. So obviously the first thing you gotta do is find a home. Uh, that's gonna be going into the MLS, matrix.netris.net. You log in with your license number, a Z front. You're going to have a your unique password. You're gonna hit enter. You're gonna go to a screen with 14 boxes. The one in the left corner will say matrix netris. You click on it and you're gonna be staring at a screen that's called the dashboard, and in the middle it's gonna have a square that says search. Um, you're also gonna have in the top a drop down that says search. You hit the drop down, you hit residential, quick or detailed. Um, already have active homes listed, and in the middle at the top it says blank miles from, and you slowly just type in your own address where you live. And once you type in that address, you put one or two miles from it, and you'll see all the active homes available. So then you're going to hit results and see a single line of up to 100 properties. You're gonna click on one, scroll down, text the agent. Hey, this is Lola Fajola. Can I do an open house at 123 Easy Street? They say yes or no. You move on to the next one. You don't get dejected or rejected uh, just because 10 people say no. You keep going. And I've had some uh, agents that have texted uh, agents from other firms and say, that's illegal, that's against advertising rules. And again, you just can't believe everything you hear because if you did, you'd believe the Holocaust never happened. So do your own research and know that you can do open houses with different brokers. So uh, you're gonna secure a listing to do an open house. Uh, then you're going to ask the agent, if it's not an agent in our office, to advertise it on the MLS. That makes it go all over the world advertising that you're gonna have an open house Saturday, 12 to four. Then you friggin' go to Home Depot where I'm about to go and you walk on the aisle where it says signs and for $3.93, you get about 12 signs that are about an inch and a half in um, width uh, or length and about, I don't know, a foot and a half in length and all it says is open with an arrow on it. Buy them, put them in your car, which is what I'm gonna do and give them away today to some people that come to our training. Uh, and then you're gonna log into Backagent, which is dhsrealty.backagent.net. In our company, we all have that login. And you're gonna go up to the top once you log in to Office and Documents, and you're gonna scroll down in Quick Links and print an open house registration form. And that's gonna be for you to obtain people that walk in that don't have a realtor, their name and phone number. While you're at the house, you might as well have made appointments for other properties in case the buyer likes yours, but also wants to see what's available in the neighborhood. You already will have made appointments, so there's no waiting. And uh, that's why you also have two people on an open house for safety, as well as for them to stay at the house while you can go show another one. That's kind of what uh, a little preview of what we're gonna talk about today and about as fast as I'm talking. Uh, but again, what we're also gonna cover is safety because there's a lot of realtor assaults, both by men and women, on men and women. So uh, it's not a gender issue. It uh, crosses the boundary of gender. And uh, we're gonna talk about how you can be safe and have situational awareness and um, keep yourself breathing because no commission is worth losing your life. So I'm also just a little shout out to my wife, Shannon. Uh, she's taught me how to be a man. When we got married, I was probably a little bit of a child and did childish things and uh, Mother's Day's coming up and she's the only mother I've ever had. Uh, well, she's not my mother, but she's the only mother I've known uh, that she preaches forgiveness and grace to everyone. And I wish my own parents would have taught me that because now there's some dysfunction that we're trying to cut from our family. But um, just a shout out to my wife and her mother, my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law that are in town. They're just full of grace and forgiveness and they just, they're kind and they, they love without boundaries and they love unconditionally. And I'm just blessed that I don't have my contacts in today so that I can see what's in front of me, which is my sister-in-law, Michael, uh, my mother-in-law, Mimi, that's coming in. And of course, really the greatest mother that I've known, even though she's not my mother, but I can watch and see how she mothers. And that's my wife, Shannon Mitchell Smith. I love you. See you later today as we celebrate this weekend, Mother's Day.